what's up guys? So, uh, today's topic, I guess what's been on my mind, is, uh, chat GPT, and it's possible repercussions and, uh, benefits to, um, you as an individual, maybe, um, as a society, uh, so we'll try and talk about those two things. Um, so my first thoughts of it, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's super cool. You could do a lot of things with it. Um, you could play Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons with it. It'll, you know, lead you through a scenario and a story. Uh, you can probably teach it um, a new game and have it come up with new strategies. Or even at work, um, you can have it design you a bridge. I don't know if you can do that yet. Uh, maybe it will. Uh, it can even write, um, uh, you know, marketing statements or uh, proposals for you in the business um, industry. So uh, it's interesting because um, Chat GPT, um, you guys already kind of know or, or may not. Uh, it kind of uh, takes all of the data from, uh, I guess, the whole stockpile of things you can find on Google, so public information, and it kind of finds like, kind of like the average of it, or according to your certain criteria, um, or parameters you give it, like, oh, write me um, an essay, or written by a 30 year old um, with a B plus about agriculture or something. That's 500 words. So it can do very specific things. So um, I'll talk about a potential danger I see. And um, this concept is, can be generalized um, across many areas of life. Um, I call it um, uh, I don't know what it's called yet, but it's kind of like a crutch, right? It can become a crutch. Uh, kind of like how these cell phones have kind of become our crutch. Or um, it, it kind of makes us into a cyborg, right? Where, you, you know, so many people use Google Maps so much that they kind of lose their sense of direction. And um, so you become a cyborg in a sense where you can't have a sense of direction without your phone, or maybe you can't remember bits and pieces of information anymore because you could just rely on Google and Wikipedia um, for that information at your hand. So, you know, uh, it's like, oh, I need some information about um, this new vocabulary word. I will use my hand machine. Uh, which is your cell phone. Um, so you can already see the reliance on technology is uh, increasing. Um, you could probably experience that as an individual and you could probably multiply that across society, kind of see um, where it can go. Um, so, um, yeah, so th that's kind of the danger of it. You can kind of... Um, a crutch over reliance on it um, to where I'm pricing the same thing but your, your muscles in your brain will kind of atrophy and um, I'm sure all kinds of different intellectual technologies have done that um, like the clock or the map or uh, yeah you, you name it throughout history paper has extended our capabilities of there's a lot of benefits, um, you know, paper, you mentioned a paper helped society, so maybe this chat GPT thing could be very helpful, um, also, uh, on a side note, um, maybe, uh, coders or basic level, entry level programmers, uh, could become obsolete pretty soon because they could, um, you know, write code now and pretty soon, and um, I'm pretty sure it's already doing it, it's just not widespread yet, 
so it's just a matter of time. Um, what else? Advantages? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe it could take over a lot of jobs, but that's kind of seen in a naked light. But, um, I don't know. Maybe people could focus on other things if, um, is doing it for them, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't know, then there's that whole, um, capitalism danger or problem where, um, the wealth gets kind of towards all the people who are rich enough to own all those machines, right, so, um, that's like the case for, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, like, um, collectivistic and communist kind of um, uh, a fan base or what do we call it uh, on the rise that kind of call for um, you know whoever all those people are that have all those technologies to benefit mankind somehow but um, anyway this is not a political discussion um what else about chat GPT? Um, yeah, individual level. Uh, so, um, I guess, uh, let me go ahead and just generalize this concept of, like, relying on crutches. Um, you know, you could probably identify some crutches in your life. Um, like, for me, for instance, at my work, there's, um, design software that'll, you know, design bridges for you, and can get so used to it that you lose your uh, engineering muscles and you don't know how to calculate by uh, you know by hand anymore paper and pencil um, and uh, so I, I probably gave that example roughly earlier uh, what, what's another example of a crutch you know you got training wheels um, or uh, maybe get really abstract here, maybe there's some kind of, um, uh, behavior or social behavior that's, you know, uh, gotten you somewhere, like, you know, um, maybe, uh, memorizing a set of questions for, uh, interviews, for job interviews, um, and maybe you use that a little too much to where you kind of become robotic and maybe the question wasn't really catered for that specific position. So that's one way you can um, fall prey to the crutch of um, habit. Habit could be a crutch, and um, you need to constantly reanalyze your habits, or else you'll kind of become, a, you know, what they call, um, I guess, the common criticism of like, oh, you know, you know, the whole OK Boomer um, thing going around. Uh, you know, maybe some of those boomers, or many, um, haven't updated their, uh, their habits they established, and that brought them very far in life, and that's why, um, you know, we, we all rely on habits, um, and they're very unconscious, as, so you don't think about them, and you probably have an, uh, egoic attachment to these habits, too, that you kind of either consciously or subconsciously want other people to adopt those habits because it's worked for you so well. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'm kind of branching out on topics here. Um, like, uh, you know, I think it's very important to be aware of, um, you know, everyone has different value structures and different selective focuses. And, um, you know, if, if you don't um, acknowledge that or um, uh, actively think about that a lot um, as you walk through life, then it, it's going to be um, kind of a severe disadvantage. Um, so, yeah, that kind of goes into my, um, I don't personally, um, you know, according to, like, Myers-Briggs, I'm that whole ENTP debater personality um, archetype, able to see um, 
both sides of an argument, and that's one of my, um, I guess, mental tools. Just remember, everyone has different value structures. Um, so anyway, yeah, chat GPT and the danger of crutches. So hope you guys um, got some value out of that. Um, I'm gonna eat some ramen. Uh, got a double date. Have a good night and a good Friday, guys.